Today we're comparing the three most popular hybrids in fittings at Second Swing in 2021. We've got a model from Ping, we've got a model from TaylorMade, and we've got a model from Callaway. Jackie will hit some shots and give us her feedback. Golfers, make sure if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka. We're in the tour van today. We've got a fun comparison. Uh, three of the most popular hybrids in fittings at Second Swing this year. Um, and Jackie, you've been fitting customers into these hybrids all year um, as you wind down 2021. Three models here that we've kind of chosen as the most popular. One of them actually interesting is more of a later year release here with the Callaway uh, Epic Super Hybrid. But uh, in its short time being available, it's been really popular. What do you think of these three clubs? What are we going to see today? Yeah, I think, you know, with all three of them, uh, I, the G425 is definitely the most popular. Mm -hmm. It fits a lot of people. Um, you know, it has a wide range of, uh, uh, you know, ability that yeah. it, it fits into. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to see, it'll be interesting to see how that one stacks up to the others. Um, you know, a tailor made, uh, the Sim Rescue. You know, a lot of people would say, well, th what about the Sim Max? I think the Sim Rescue is very comparable to the other two models in terms of shaft weight. Okay. And just, you know, the comparison piece the to it. playability to it. But, yeah, the Sim 2 Max has been really popular too. But I think it, we want to be able to get a good comparison of, you know, shaft weights and stuff as well. So this is why we picked the Sim Rescue. And stuff. Sure, sure. And then the Super Hybrid is, has a kind of some, some pop in it yeah. as well, which I think golfers have really liked here early on. So um, I, and, and just what I know a little bit about these clubs, I know a lot of forgiveness packed in the G425, playability everywhere. Um, that the Sim 2 Rescue, I'm be curious on the spin and how that compares to these other ones. Yep. And then distance wise, I know in our first test with the Super Hybrid, there was a lot of distance there. So um, it looks like they all kind of have their own characteristics, own niches, but um, should be a fun test here. So you talked about getting, you know, a kind of a comparable shaft weight. So why don't we go through each of these here? Just kind of give us the rundown on them. Yeah, the uh, Sim Rescue's got the Tensai Blue uh, AV 70 gram. And then the G425 has an Alta CB 70R. And then the um, Callaway Super Hybrid mm -hmm. has the Steel Fiber FC 75. So. Okay. Very comparable in weight, again, which is why we yeah. picked them all out. Um, and obviously, they're all popular right now, so. Okay. Well, sweet. We've got three really good kind of, uh, you know, not the same golf shaft, but pretty comparable in terms of weight, in terms of flex. So, Jack, you'll hit some shots for us. Um, we'll see what TrackMan tells us. I think I'm very curious about this because this is that part of the bag where a lot of golfers are trying to figure out what they want to do. Iron, hybrid, utility club. Uh, obviously, hybrid, I think, is probably the most popular choice. So. Um, you ready to hit some shots? Yeah, let's go. All right, so Jackie, first club of uh, the test today, what do you got? Got the Callaway Epic Super Hybrid, um, four hybrid. Okay, So. and uh, just before even hitting, what does that look like at a dress? Because it's kind of a, Big. you know, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. the super hybrid, right? A little bit bigger than, you know, that's why they call it super. Right. It's a super it, it's, hybrid, a little bit bigger than the generic hybrid, I think. It's a cross between a hybrid and a fairway wood yeah. is honestly what it looks okay. like. So Interesting. So hopefully, maybe we'll see something different in the numbers then. Pulled it just a little bit, but. That one was good. That one was hit pretty well, yeah. Look at that. Miss hit, but. Really? Yeah. Interesting, because Felt I think it sounded like you maybe hit a little bit like fat, yeah, but it still went over 190 yards. Ah, that was a miss hit. So Jackie, that was five with the um, Epic Super Hybrid. I do want to get your thoughts on feel now because we talked about the, the look right away. Yeah. How about the feel of that club being that it is, like you said, kind of that cross with like a fairy wood? Yeah, I mean, um, it was okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, 
it, it feels like a Callaway. Okay. Um, it's, I, I don't know how to really explain that too much, but it's kind of like. I mean, it's the same material, not, the same construction yeah. method as all their, you know, other methods. I would say it's the, just different. Yeah. You know, like I'm used to a certain feel, so it's just a different okay. type of feel. Um, when I hit, you know, those two really good ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, I pulled them a little bit, but I, I definitely hit the center of the face. The ball speed dramatically yeah. went up. So those ones felt good. And even the one that I chunked a little bit or felt like I did, yeah. it still went right. pretty far. So that, that was, I think, was it four? Shot four? Yeah. So shot four, you said you kind of hit maybe a little fat. Yeah. But it was still, you know, clearly one of the farthest ones. Yep. Uh, total wise actually was, I think, the farthest, 191.9. So um, that's something to note there. That, you know, that, I think the reason that happened was the spin stayed down. Yeah. But, so you're seeing over here on the spin numbers, you know, I think a couple maybe you caught thin, right? Maybe yep. up here Long and then face. here. You yeah. see how that spin kind of went up near 5,000, whereas when you hit it solid, it was right around 4,000. So um, it, something to note there. But now we've got some, some baseline numbers here. Again, 21 degree four hybrid there. So these other two are going to be a little bit, uh, well, one degree higher in loft. Yep. So, all right. How about G425 now? Hold it a little bit there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was a good swing. Felt good. Another pull. Eh. All right. Off the toe a little bit. Okay, we're taking that <laughs> one. That was all me there. A <laughs> spin, look at that, 19. Well, I'm all right, G425, Jackie. Yep. Um, right away, I, I'm seeing some higher ball speed numbers on, I mean, you had a bunch of them over 114 here, whereas you had a few under 114 over here. Um, obviously, the last shot there, you didn't quite catch perfectly. Um, I could tell by the way you reacted to the shot. Um, but if we look over, that spin went down because it was kind of a, you know, a little bit chunky and it kind of got the top of the club face. The spin went down that, and because of that, it actually rolled out to right about where your average total was before that. So yep. um, give me your thoughts on look and feel of that compared to the Epic Super Hybrid. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I had two shots I didn't hit very well that I, Mm -hmm. knew right away whether I pulled it or whether I chunked it but I mean this is why the ping g425 is the most popular yeah. this year is because I mean you're seeing that from these numbers that even on these miss hits you're still getting um you know the right around you need. yeah exactly so you know I think that just shows that um you know my initial reaction is that was just a terrible shot. Yeah. I didn't expect it to go that total yardage. So to see that mm -hmm. is obviously a, yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously that would be a concerning one if there was some an obstacle in the way. But if it's a right. hole where there's you know yeah. just fairway or grass up until your yeah. target, right. you know, that's gonna you're gonna totally get away with that shot, which is it's good to know then if you're interested in G425. The fuel is great. I mean, compared to the super hybrid, definitely a lot softer. Okay. Um, even on the miss hits, like I knew I miss hit it, but it didn't feel like yeah. a rock. Okay. You know, it's interesting because I, I feel like the sound was actually a little louder with yeah. the, the G425. And I, I know we kind of say ping has like a distinct sound to their metals, but I think that was, it was interesting that it was seemed like a little louder than the super hybrid. Um, but then the feel to you was a little softer. Um, but I think pretty good start there for ping. And it's worth noting, I'm just going to show the carry versus total here. So. This is that, that last swing there where you kind of hit it a little chunky. Yep. Carried this far, total this far. So uh, you can see how that, you know, that range is quite a bit different based on that lower spin. But okay, now we can move on to the Sim 2 Rescue here. That sounded really soft. Like sound wise, it was a lot lower. Yeah, a lot like of pitch. spin. That is a lot of spin. That one sounded a little bit more solid. Yeah, that was better. Oh, 
oh, that did not feel like Really? That. Yeah. I can tell the one-handed finish there. A little Hideki Matsuyama. <laughs> I pulled that. You had some good ball speed on it, though. That one's good. Yeah. Wow. That's why it's my gamer. That's, that, I mean, Jackie, that's a pretty darn good. Uh, Besides the one I. Look at these three right here. Yeah. Look at that. So, Sim 2 Rescue. Now, interesting about this club, right? The, you know, how these TaylorMade medals have that, like, white sort of stripe on the leading edge yep. uh, on the crown. The Rescue doesn't have that. Um, so, how do you, you know, out, you know, looking at it at a dress, do you, is that something that bothers you? I mean, having played, you know, TaylorMade um, hybrids before, is that something you're looking for? Or is that not really. Well, I have the, I have the Sim Max 5 hybrid. So, okay. and that's honestly like, Anything from 160 to 175, go-to club all day yeah. long. I can swing a little less, swing harder, and it's going to be okay. money. Um, this one's definitely like my 190 club. Um, 190, 200 kind of depends, but I, I don't mind the not having the alignment on the top. I actually like it. Okay. I, it's doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, because it's a pretty clean-looking club head right oh, now yeah. without that white stripe. I mean, yeah. there's just, there's not a, it's not a glossy black. It's just kind of... That, that sort of matte almost to it, uh, which yeah. is, I think, really uh, good to look at. But then looking at, so the map here, right, you got these three that are just money yeah. um, right next to each other. You've got one, I think, maybe a little bit, based on the spin numbers, maybe was a little bit thin. Yeah, that was the first shot okay. I had with it. Yep. Yeah. So you got one a little bit thin, which did raise that spin. And then you had the one that you just pulled out here to the left. Um, but I'm looking at distance here, and it looks like we have a pretty darn good close comparison between the G425 and Sim 2 Rescue as of right now, right? Carry yeah. was a little bit further with the Sim 2, total a little bit further with G425, largely because of this one that rolled out uh, quite a bit. But um, feel-wise, I mean, I, I thought the sound was the softest with that one. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, the feel is, I mean, majority of my bag is tailor-made right now. Yeah. So like for me, the feel is obviously You're kind of used good. to it. Yeah, I'm yeah. used to it. Um, but like compared to like the ping, I'd say, uh, similar okay. in that feel. Uh, definitely when you miss hit this one though, like you know, yeah. which personally I like because yeah. like with the ping, I'm like you hit, you hit it and you have a larger range on the face where yeah. you hit it there, you still kind of have the same, the similar feeling. Whereas yeah. with the tailor made, it's which is really good center, for, yeah, you know, it depends on the player. That's yeah. a, that's a player dependent thing. Right. A lot of players need that feedback. Some of them just want to have a pleasing feel when they hit the ball, regardless right. of where it is. So, um, all right, so let's hit five more with each club, and then we'll uh, break everything down here and see so, what TrackMan tells us. I'll hit this one again and then work my That's way fine. back. Perfect, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That one's good. Yeah. That might be, yeah, that's right with those other ones. Chunky. Okay, here's right. a test. All right. Uh, that actually worked out okay. Yeah. Off the toe a little bit. Yeah. All right. Oh, that one smoked. Yeah. Oh, that was good too. Yeah, a little low on the face, but yeah. No, I suppose. Just that was so hit well, though, wasn't it? No, it's fine. A little <laughs> pull. It just that was better. Oh, that was smoked. That's the highest ball speed of the day. Yeah. Well, that was an overcorrect there. That might be the first one right of center today. Yeah. That was me. That was good. Um. One.
All right. Okay, Jackie, we've got 30 golf shots up there right now. Um, we can remove a couple outliers. I know there's, there's maybe some pulls out here, but honestly, your dispersion pattern is pretty consistent here. We're, I mean, you're, you're, you're hitting mostly kind of, what, 10 yards left of center or yep. five yards left of center. That's kind of your, your, your common miss. Obviously, you can see the whole circle's kind of airing a little bit left. But So three different clubs here. We've got 10 with each up there. What did you think? Just kind of give me your overall impressions after hitting all three, you know, look and feel. What was kind of your takeaways from each club there? Uh, yeah, the Callaway Super Hybrid, definitely like bigger mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. more draw bias than I'm used to. Okay. Um, you can see that in the club head kind of? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So like as I was hitting it, I'm trying to adjust like yeah. for that because I was pulling a handful to the left little bit more than I like you know um, personally like with the feel the sim rescue and the g425 definitely felt the best okay um, g425 is just like butter yeah I mean like again the absorption of the miss hits are great mm -hmm. like you don't really feel that shock up your sure. arm at all yeah. so that's you know why it's very good yeah right but yeah I mean the Sim Rescue is just a thinner profile. Yeah, you know? it is. So mm -hmm. for me, you know, when you're talking about hitting out of like rough, right? Or like this is going to get through it maybe just a little bit better because okay. of that thinner profile. Right. And we don't so, have that testing capability today being right. inside and right. it's 30 degrees outside. But but like uh, when thinking about, you know, where mm -hmm. are you going to use these? Right. You know, I mean, the super hybrid would be great for someone that really needs like that. That extra pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think, you know, we're going to see, it's actually kind of crazy how similar the ball speed numbers are, right? And your club speed was pretty consistent throughout in the 79 range, ball speed in the 114 range. Um, we saw it slightly more efficient with the super hybrid, but that's just, I mean, that's very incrementally, right? Um, right. Spin, actually, it's kind of interesting, right? So the lowest lofted club by one degree, super hybrid was actually the highest spinner for you. Most consistent spin was the Sim 2 Rescue with that the smallest deviation number. Distance-wise, again, very comparable throughout. Carries of 168 to 169, total right around 185 to 187. So um, yeah, from there, you know, it's, I mean, those are, that's very comparable. I mean, that's a really yeah. good test. So now from there, it becomes kind of a look and feel and confidence thing, um, which I know you kind of err on the side of kind of tailor-made because that's what's in your bag. Yep. Um, but I think somebody can look at this can walk away seeing what Callaway did, what Ping did, what tailor-made did, and they know that their hybrid is going to be a pretty good, good performer because I think each of them you had miss hits that, you know, you kind of didn't think you caught very well, and they ended up flying out there as far as some of these other shots that you hit solid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't argue with the numbers. They're all very similar mm -hmm. to some respect but like you said I think when it comes to look and feel um, yeah honestly when I was thinking about putting it was between these two when I was gonna you know put a poor hybrid bag. in my bag mm -hmm. so I, I like both of them for sure um, I think that when it comes down to like the super hybrid like I was saying really good option for someone that you know maybe wants to get that extra pop yeah. right mm -hmm. so and plus the adjustability in the super hybrids something to note too I mean, you got the Callaway adjustable. Yeah. Um, I mean, many options there for yeah. you if you want, you know, to lower the loft, up the loft, draw, you know. For sure. So another option to have that too, but just maybe a little bit more with that. But Yeah, for sure. Well, I think, you know, I, not that we would ever, um, you know, doubt to these manufacturers putting together some awesome hybrids, but I think it shows just how competitive it really is out there, right? They're trying, they're putting everything they can into these clubs to make sure they perform well. And they're very comparable here. And again, I think it's that look and feel piece is huge for, for golfers. And I think when they come in to test, you know, like you said, you've had your preferences. And then when someone else comes in, they're going to prefer the Callaway or they're going to prefer the ping yep. and how it looks and feels. So that's the next piece. And I think that's a huge component of our fittings too, is making sure that golfers are confident in those clubs. So I think that's where we can kind of leave this off here is we have the numbers up there. They're very comparable between these three clubs, but it's up to you, the golfer, to schedule your fitting and come in and speak to somebody like Jackie 
um, and get that consultation and get that feedback as well, hitting the clubs, making sure that they're right for your game. So, uh, Jackie, thanks for joining today, uh, hitting all the shots and giving us some really good numbers to look at here. Yeah, thanks for having me.